Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, so good. Hello. Starting a new week. Excellent. Yes, starting a new week. It's Monday and it's our last week. So, guys, you are about to go to the next level. My gosh. How do you feel about it? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Excited, anxious, happy, or... <laughs> Or do you want to repeat? Mm, never. <laughs> uh -huh, very good, very good. So guys, uh, yes, tomorrow, if everything goes well, right? If our internet connection or the lights um, don't fail, <laughs> if everything goes well, tomorrow will be our last class, okay? So tomorrow we are going to finish the uh, intermediate level five, okay? So today, as always, we are going to have a lot of practice, but have you worked on the platform? Yes. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. All right. I hope so. Because, remember, <clears throat> tomorrow is the last day, so the platform has to be ready, all right? So if you haven't finished, you need to run, okay? Now, in this case, I have seen the platform. I can see most of you already finished, actually, so that's excellent. I can see that there are just a few people that um, it is missing only the final exam. So for the ones who hasn't finished, do it, please, okay? As I always say, if you have any doubt or something, just let me know and I will help you with that, okay? Now, do you remember the topic that we studied last week? Oh my gosh. You don't remember. I think that you want to repeat the level. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my goodness, my goodness. All right. Yes, any idea about what we talked about last week? <laughs> or maybe we should have an exam, right? Hmm. All right. If you remember, we were talking about apologies, excuses, promises, right? Also, if you remember, we were comparing some characteristics with the end commerce and the national market. And that is precisely what we are going to continue talking about today. Okay. We, so, we sorry, everybody... teacher, I don't remember. I'm sorry. We are really sorry. Yeah. About that. Mm -hmm. that we what? don't say the, the, the last um topic because we want to practice the apologies. Ah, I'm sure, <laughs> right? And what is the promise? Uh -huh. What will be we the never promise? do it again? <laughs> uh -huh. I hope so. I hope so. All right, I forgive you just because you applied the topic. That's the only reason. <laughs> All right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it, your weekend. I hope that you could rest. Now, just remember, tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow we are going to take the survey. And it is really important that everybody connect tomorrow, okay? And I would like that tomorrow everybody can be here participating. Don't be listeners. Come on, it will be the last day, okay? So you can be listening just for a real emergency, but if it is not, I mean, try to be here in the class, connecting, participating, because as I mentioned today and well, tomorrow, it will be the last class, okay? 
Now, let's start. Um, I want to share with you. First of all, I want to share um, the platform. Let's see. Can you see the platform, everybody? Not yet. Not yet. Not sure. Okay. Yeah, right yeah. now. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I want to share the most important is the week number four. That is the one that some of you haven't finished. The midterm and the final exam. Okay, there are some people that they are they haven't finished the final test, so it is important to take it. I can see some people that they are done with a perfect score. Look at this one. I have Anna. Very good job. Everything is done. I can see bodies. Everything is done too. Pretty good. Uh, Carlos Alberto, it is done. Excellent. Pretty good job. Carlos Ernesto, everything is done. Excellent. Pretty good. With Carlos Menjivar, is missing only the final test and try to finish the unit number four. Uh, I, I finish it yesterday in the afternoon. Which Maybe one? The, night. the unit number four? The unit number four, yes. Mm, okay, I will check your profile to verify if what is happening or maybe if the platform has um, updated the score. I will be. check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be, thank you. All right. Then we have Edwin, everything is done. Pretty good. With Elias, he's missing the uh, final test. And I think that we could improve the midterm. Uh, with Eulise, everything is done. Nice, pretty good. Hmm, what else? Jose Salvador, everything is done. Excellent. Postman, everything is done. Good. With Kevin, perfect. It's done. Kevin Alfredo, also, it's done. Excellent job, guys. Then we have Nelson, also, everything is done. Hmm, with Oscar Alexis, we need to uh, work a lot, please. Excuse me, I, I have a question. Yes. I have uh, 75 in the week four. Mm -hmm. I don't know if. No, uh, the 75 is in the midterm. Okay. Yes, it is, not uh, it is no problem because I have the 90, 92 in the, in the final. In the, in the final score. Yes. Okay, look, remember that the minimum score to pass is 80%. That is like the minimum. In this case, if you got this 92, I mean, it's fine because that's your final score. Now, if you want to get a better score than 92, you can try to take or to finish the midterm again in order to improve it. This is up to you, okay? Okay, teacher, got it. Mm -hmm. Then who else? Who else? Let's move on to the next page. I have Osman Enrique. Let me see. Osman Enrique, everything is done. Pretty good. Pamela also, it's done. Rafael Alexander, pretty good. So in this case, he has 82 in the total but it has 55 in the midterm. So in this case, I suggest to take the midterm again in order to reach at least the 90%. Remember guys that 80% is the minimum, right? If you get 80, it is like como cuando decimos así como raspaditos, right? So if you can, if you have the time, you can try to repeat the exam again. Then we have Ricardo is missing with the final test, Cifrido, very good. Is everything done? And Wilber Alberto, everything is done. So guys, so far so good with the platform. I like it, very good job. Now, uh, again, only the people please that is missing, the ones who hasn't finished, please try to advance in the platform, okay? Try to work harder, try to advance and uh, if you have questions with some exercises, tell me and I will try to help.
Now let's start with today's class. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, I can. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is September 11th, and this is the unit number four. We are about to finish it. And this is the topic. Describe specific influences of technology in e-commerce. This is our class objective. Um, volunteer for reading it, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Uh, at the end of the class, participants will be compared the characteristic of e-commerce worldwide to its characteristic in the national market. Thank you. So we are going to continue comparing, guys, some characteristics for the brick and mortar stores and the e-commerce, all right? So let's review a little bit some of the words of the terms that we studied last week. Let's see if you remember them. For example, the first one, brick and mortar. What is that? Come on, store. Stores. The common stores, yes. Can you give me examples of brick and mortar stores? Uh, like when you go to Simon. Okay, Simon, yes. Another one? It's a hat or campero. Yes, exactly. All those buildings that we can go, right? The physical buildings. Then what is the difference between the other ones, clicks and mortar? <clears throat> they use both the platforms, physical and you had uh, electronic uh, platform too. For example, can you tell me one of them? Um, La Curaçao. La Curaçao, okay, yes. Another one? Super Selectas. Yeah, very good. So they are basically offering the both or two options. Then we have e-workforce. <laughs> what is that? Uh-huh. Ah, so you don't remember the vocabulary. E-workforce. E workforce. Yeah. It's the people that work um in an online um job. <laughs> I don't know how to say. <laughs> All right. What is Basically, they are the ones who works on computers, right? Doing the business online, specifically when we are talking about the e-commerce. And the e-wallets, everyone, what is it? Uh -huh. A wallet. Um, electronic wallet like um, Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about the virtual um, currencies. Exactly. That is the one. Then we have mobile banking. What is that, everyone? Mm -hmm. Using them bank apps, maybe like the app of Banco Agricola. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's basically, guys, when you can do all those uh, banks transactions or bank businesses, but on your cell phone, okay? Then what is the difference between digital purchases and digital currencies? What is the difference? Do you remember everyone? Uh huh. Extra points for the ones who guess it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference? Digital purchase, digital currency. Mm, currencies is like the Bitcoin, and um, digital purchases is and the transactions that we do okay. um, in e-commerce. In e okay, 
So basically, guys, digital purchase is when you shop online. And digital currency is the method or the methods that you use to pay for that purchase, all right? So this is some of the vocabulary that we started in the last class. I hope, guys, that you review the vocabulary, okay? So we, we don't know, we, maybe we can have uh, some surprises tomorrow, okay? Be careful with that. Now, let's start with the topic for today. I have some questions. What do you think, guys? Do you think that e-commerce will substitute brick and mortar stores in the future? What do you think? Uh huh. Okay, I want to everybody participate. Come on, we are about to finish the level. So let's prove that you're ready to go to the next level. So let's participate, guys, please. In my opinion, teacher, um, I think that I that it doesn't possible because some people like uh, to go to the brick and mortar stores for see the products that uh, they want buy. That's true, that's buy. true. So Kevin, and you, do you prefer to go to the stores or to buy online? Um, I prefer to go to the brick and mortar stores uh -huh. and buy in e-commerce. I don't know why, but I I feel so comfortable. Sounds good. Okay. Another opinion, guys. So what do you think? Uh-huh. Who will win? The brick and mortar stores or the e-commerce? I prefer the e-commerce most of the times because um the prices are cheapest than on, on the brick and mortar stores in the country, maybe. Okay. Very good. That's a good point. Anyone else? What do you think, guys? E-commerce versus brick and mortar stores? Uh-huh. Depends on the company. For example? Um, some personal service companies cannot do the things through the e-commerce size or something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good point. So a lot of company obviously will be destroyed by e-commerce, but there is a certain special companies mm -hmm. that probably will never disappear. Probably. We'll never know, right? <laughs> Maybe in some years we will realize no, about but... what's the truth. But the manometer, I can do something, but could be. And in your opinion, which one do you prefer? Uh, for the discounts and the benefits, e-commerce. <laughs> All right. So yeah, e-commerce has a lot of advantages. And during this class, that is basically, guys, what we are going to be talking about. What will happen? What is the future? E-commerce or brick and mortar stores? What's going to happen? That's what we are going to see. If you remember in the previous classes, we were talking about some ideas or some trends that can work for some retail companies in future years. We were talking about what ideas can we include in the brick and mortar stores in order to help them to continue working. And you were saying, which one do you consider is the most important and which ones can be less important? So for you guys, which one is the number one, the most important? 
What is the most important trend? What do you think? The stores providing unique in the stores experiences. I think teacher that in the future, retailers will need to take advantage of apps, service and third parties mm -hmm. to fulfill the needs to of all modern shoppers yeah all right that's good do you agree with elias everyone or do you have another idea what do you think wow which of these ones will be more important in the future years I think it will be shipping purchase and the same there will be the norm. Ah, look at this one. This is important. Imagine, guys, would you like to receive your package <laughs> exactly the same day that you order it? <clears throat> yes or no? Or do you want to yes. wait? No. <laughs> Yeah, imagine that is one of the disadvantages for the e-commerce, right? So if you can receive the package exactly the same day, that will be a great idea. Any other one, another trends, guys, that will be important in future years? What do you think? Uh -huh. Well, another important point, well, in, in El Salvador, we can see that that retailers across the world will adopt mobile payment solutions. Uh -huh. Look at this. That's very interesting. So everybody has a, a cell phone. So imagine it's necessary to everybody can use it for payment solutions. All right. If you remember, this is just like a quick review. All right. So today we are going to continue talking about it before checking the uh, vocabulary and the grammar structures for today. I need to check attendance as always. So everybody, when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora. Ana Lorena Lovato. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftalí Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Ke Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Okay. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. All right. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Listener. All right. Eh, Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. All right. Pretty good. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's continue, everybody. Let me start sharing the presentation again. 
Can you see it? Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. So I'm going to share with you some vocabulary and you have to try to tell me what is the meaning of that. For example, 3D printing. Have you ever heard about it? Yes. Yes? What do you see it? It's uh, when you print like maybe parts or gears uh, that you can use. It's a, a, a 3D printing. <laughs> it, it, it's basically you can uh, make like, like your toys for kids, parts for cars, whatever you want and whatever you can imagine with with parts with um, plastic <laughs> exactly it's like you can make real objects right you can print them it is not like a drawing it is not like a picture it's a real object would you like to have a 3d printing yes <laughs> and what would you print Mm, maybe parts parts for my breaking break for my broken uh uh car <laughs> from a part <laughs> broken ah, from a car. okay <laughs> yeah that's yeah. A good idea yeah so sometimes you can found uh some parts in the places in El Salvador so you can mm -hmm. just bring it that's true then we have virtual reality. Have you ever heard about it, guys? What is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, it's using glasses to see a uh, different uh, location, uh, different than you are right now. Like you can see a mushi. Uh, mountain or a museum or you can play a game <laughs> that's true look at this picture this one represents an example for virtual reality okay pay attention in this vocabulary okay we are going to use it then we have a 3d body scanners but specifically when we are talking about clothing design what do you think? What comes to your mind when you see 3D body scanner? What comes to your mind? Mm, measures. Could be. Uh-huh. Anyone else? Look at this picture. Imagine in this 3D body scanner, they can basically uh, measure all your body and get exactly the size that you want, right? Then we have self-serve kiosk. Hmm, what is that? Mm, it's like a spring that you can uh, make your order in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I see a few of them on McDonald's. Okay. Where else? Where else can we find them? Have you ever seen some of them, everyone? At the bank. Oh, very good. At the bank. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? It's a blessing. Where? No. It's a blessing. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, would you like to have one of these ones? Uh, for example, when you go and buy clothes? What do you think? If the menu is easy to understand, it's okay. But, for example, in Sartrasan, it's a little bit complicated because uh you didn't know what is exactly the um, the area where uh, you have to go so you see a, a difference um uh, buttons there but you don't know what you have to pay some clicks ah uh, okay it's complicated so yeah that is important that they, they have to be easy to use 
Okay, and the last one, a mental reality. What do you think, guys? What comes to your mind when you see a mental reality? Pokemon Go. <laughs> yes, that's a clear example. Actually, I would have paid that picture, <laughs> but then I decided to change it. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good example. A mental reality, guys. Imagine that you want to buy a sofa and you want to see how the sofa will be or will like look like in your house and imagine you can just use the tablet or a cell phone and you will see the way that it's going to look when you already have the sofa don't you think that it will be great something like that uh-huh would you like it would you like to have that kind of apps? Imagine that you buy clothes. Imagine when you buy some furniture and you can see it in a virtual but more real way. Would you like it or not? It is not necessary. What do you think? I think it's useful because if you, if you buy some furniture and you are not sure if from the size, maybe mm -hmm. it's bigger to your to your room or your bedroom or bathroom, whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you can see it with using your phone or tablet, is is better because you will be uh, pretty sure is if you want to to buy it. Actually, yeah, it will give you a real idea how that furniture is going to look like when you already keep it at home so keep in mind this vocabulary okay 3d printing and well the other ones now look at this imagine guys and i want you to your opinion here which of these technologies do you believe will have an important role when you want to improve customer's experience, but in a retail stores. So remember that when we are talking about retail stores, we are talking about brick and mortar. Imagine that I have a store, it's a brick and mortar store, but I want to improve my customer's experience. Which of these ones do you think should be important or will be more important? What do you think in your own opinion? Should I have 3D printing or maybe a virtual reality? What do you think? You as a customers. Which one would you like to see in the brick and mortar stores? Uh huh. Okay, let's participate. I, Come on. I think that will be amazing that we experiment with 3D body scanners for uh, using the clothes yeah. before by the, the clothes. Just imagine guys, if you go to the brick and mortar store, you want to buy a t-shirt and you say, my size is M, that's my size. But have you ever tried on a t-shirt with the M size and didn't fit you? Yes? Yeah. And what do you need to do? You need to go and look for another one. And sometimes you take another t-shirt with exactly the same size, but that t-shirt fits you perfectly. Have you ever suffered this situation? So Yes, yeah. Exactly. Imagine, guys, don't you think that it will be great to have a 3D body scanners in the store? And that scanner will give you exactly the clothes that will fit you perfectly without you have to 
try it. What do you think? Would you like it? Yes, you avoid the tail to, to try it, the, the cloth. Exactly. It will be easier. It will be faster. What else? Another of these options, guys, technology advancement, would you like to have in order to improve the customer's experience? What do you think? Maybe the self service. Mm, okay. It will be faster if you have a self serve uh, service, but as long as if it is simple and easy to use, right? Yes. And the rest of you guys, what do you think? Any of these ones? Do you agree with your classmates? Or do you think different? What do you think? Hmm. Okay. Now, if we see, we are just talking about the ways that we can improve customers' experience. Remember, guys, that right now there is a fight between the retailer stores and the e-commerce. So obviously brick and mortar stores, they are trying to improve. They are trying to see what else they can do in order to give a customers a very nice experience, all right? So thinking about these technologies advanced, how fast is technology being implemented in retail stores from your country? So think about here in El Salvador. Do we have this kind of technology in the uh, brick and mortar stores? What do you think? Not all of them. Not all of them, okay. Have you seen any other one, any other technology implement in the brick stores? Mm, Self-check, like okay. you, sell, you're, you, you purchase your things by yourself. Mm, okay, sounds good. What else? What do you think, everybody? Another example, teacher, can be um, um, I think it's in McDonald's. They have a like a little robot. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. All right. I haven't gone there, so I haven't seen them yet. But imagine, guys, that's another clear example about it. Just imagine that you go to Super Selectors <laughs> and there is a mini robot over there telling you, how can I help you? <laughs> so that could be another technology implement, right? So what are some key tech trends you're currently seeing in the stores? For example, as Pamela said, right? She has seen those little robots in McDonald's. How about you guys? Have you seen any other tech trends in our country? What else? Anything else? Use the Bitcoin. It's uh, re more more recent. <laughs> or, yeah, definitely. That you can pay with a uh, uh, e wallet, right? So we are using a virtual currency. That's another one. Imagine a couple of years ago, we couldn't do that. What else? Do you have another idea? Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, please, a couple of people are participating, not everyone. But in order to everybody talk, <laughs> let's have a speaking practice, okay? So I want you guys to use your imaginations. We are going to work in teams, 
And I wanted to choose a brick and mortar store from our country. The brick and mortar store that you prefer. It can be about clothes, about furniture, about food. I don't know. The brick and mortar stores that you prefer. Okay. And I wanted to give me tips and ideas about how we can incorporate technology trends in order to improve the service, in order to improve the customer's experience. For example, I'm going to pick Prisma Moda. Have you ever heard about this brick and mortar store? Yes, do you know this store or not? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, what kind of products can I find here? Clothes. No. I can find clothes. What else? Yearly. Yearly shoes. Anything else? Skincare, makeup. Actually, I've seen some perfumes. Um things like that, right? So, in this case, Prisma Moda is pretty basic, right? I haven't seen a lot of technologies over there. So, Only cell phones. <laughs> what? Cell phones. I, I see one, uh, one store that has cell phones. Selling it's cell really phones? Yes, one Prisma Moda. Oh, really? I've never seen yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. It's the okay. only one that I see. Ah. The only one. <laughs> okay. So, I already explained the product that they sell, right? Now, mm, what can we do? What kind of technology, what kind of ideas can we incorporate to Prisma Moda? in order to improve their business, in order to give the customers a better experience. I just want the customer to think, oh no, I prefer to go to the physical store than go online because online is boring. If you go to the brick and mortar store, it's pretty nice experience. So. What do you think, guys? Can you give me some tips in order to improve Prisma Moda? What can we do? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in my opinion, I will incorporate a body scanner. Okay, I think that people waste a lot of time trying clothes and they never find the correct size and that's why they get frustrated so i'm going to add a body scanner in order that it will be faster and easier for them to find exactly the correct size what else another technology that we can increment uh, or incorporate here give mm. me ideas Maybe a food scanner, a food three D scanner for choosing two sizes. Oh, a scanner, two. Yeah, three D. Yes, for for but for shoes. For, yes, for shoes. Ah, that's a good idea. So we can have a scanner for clothes, but also for shoes. That's a good idea too. Uh huh. What else? Hmm. Any other idea, guys? For example, another idea uh, similar in in the Walmart, uh, uh, scanner your product and on total the the pay in the in the box is uh, uh, pay the 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 product. This is a a advance in no in no file in the in the box on more people uh, more people is must AC the pay. So you can scanner the product that you want to buy. Yeah. And in the page, you will see the total amount and all everything. Yeah. 
in the, uh, for example, in the, um, uh, in Walmart, this is the, this is the practice. The one um, uh, is a box, uh, but fast and as, as uh, for example, 20 products maximum is the I am a scanner the product and final the uh, ticket the, the box the the pill at the car uh, a box in face is very very easy. Uh -huh. the, the, uh, it's a, this a practice is in, is 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 by inserting and um and the customer uh, is the check. Oh, so it's very faster for you actually yeah. as a customer. So what is the name that we can give to that option? How can we call it? Self self scam. Oh, self self service, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. The only problem yeah. that I see is that the clothes always had uh, some security uh, ah. things. Yeah, you that... need to remove it. Yes. Mm -hmm. In... Indeed, that happens to me on Walmart. I bought a T-shirt, and I used the, what uh, Cosman was saying, and I don't, I don't realize that the <laughs> you have to remove had to it. Yes, by myself, and I, I was really worried about uh, damage my my T-shirt. <laughs> They they look at you very suspicious. <laughs> yeah, but I already paid. <laughs> uh, all right, that's a good idea. So let me take this idea, but except for clothes. Okay. Um, so I will give the advice to the customers that if you are going to buy clothes, there are some exceptions, right? You can pay it, but you have to ask to remove the uh, security chip. Sounds good. Any other idea, guys, to make Prisma Moda like more interesting, a better service? What else? <clears throat> Anything else in mind? Uh huh. A robot, maybe. <laughs> it would be great to have a mini robot. A nanny robot for the kids. Ah, okay. Yeah. Let remember here I want you to use your imagination. You can invent. Okay. We are going to say like um I, I will call it Robert Robot Theater. <laughs> right? <laughs> so the Robert Theater, it will be like a babysitter. You can go and buy your clothes peacefully. Uh, while your kids are being taken care of the robot sitter. Hmm. <laughs> okay, nice. I like it. So exactly what I did right now, that is exactly what I want you to do in groups. Okay, you have to choose a brick and mortar store. Again, the ones that you prefer, but please from this country. Okay, you have to explain me what kind of product you can find in this store. And then you can name some tips about what kind of technology we can incorporate to this store in order to provide to the customers a better or a more fascinating experience. Okay, listen, I need three or more tips, okay? No less. You will be working in teams, so I can, I believe that in with your group, you can generate more ideas, all right? Is it clear, the activity, everybody? Yes, it's true. Yes? All yeah. right, pretty good. So let's create the groups. Give me a second. You will be in group of four. I think that we have some listeners. So if you are in a group where nobody is participating, just let me know and I will switch you to another team. One moment.
Let's see, let's see. One second. Okay, pretty good. Let's go to work, everybody. Hi, Jose. Jose Bador. Hey, Osman. Hi, Hi, Jose. Okay. What up? Where? <laughs> we had to work hey. about this one more. Or mm. we can we can yep. show other in my in my case I have never been in Prisma Moda. So I rather to choose another another place maybe no i don't know epa walmart okay what do you think uh, for me we, we can change yes oh. prisma, prisma moda was my idea <laughs> so you yes. have to change it pick another one yes teacher i think we, we can change the idea uh, let me see uh, what store need improve. What do you think, Salvador? Maybe Freon. Freon. In Santana yeah. City, I know uh, Bidri. Do you know this store? Mm -hmm. Freon yeah. is the is opposite or competence competitor the bidri I, I remember uh, uh, five years ago uh, bidri was a good store a popular store in santana city but mm -hmm. when a friend arrived bidri down it it sells mm -hmm. because for him uh, is a mother's storm a big place a very variety variety product I don't know mm -hmm. compares with oh, really. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know that there is the factory. Is I think it's not sales shoes. If not, it is only factory. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know the they they sell shoes. I don't know. But yeah. they, there is where they made the the shoes, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe. For for shoes, for well, for this store, eh, I was thinking about. I don't know if you um have ever going to to this store of shoes i don't remember if it's a sport line sport line i don't remember but this a uh, store that sells a uh, like um a sports shoes they have um, a machine that uh, scan your feet and the machine gives you information to know what type of shoes you can use or you can buy in the store. So maybe a look uh, should have this kind of technology for their customers. Okay. Have you ever seen that machine? Uh, to be honest, no. 
interesting. Yeah, so we can put like, um, well, first we have to put um, prescribe a dog. Sell, well, sales. Um, um, all types of shoes. So, the first tip can be the this um, fit scanner <laughs> i don't know maybe we can put that name a fit scanner to know what type of shoes you can wear or or is better to your to yeah. your health <clears throat> Pamela, yes uh... In the machine, uh, what is the model for the fit scanner? What is the model? For the model how, or how, uh, how it looks? No, 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 no. Yes, like Andrea said, we can um, use AC on our uh, stores because we are almacenes bomba. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't have easy. Yeah, not even uh, fans. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what else we can, what else we can use to uh, make a better um store for our customers maybe maybe had a web page i don't know if it, they mm. had one no, <laughs> I, no I don't know like <laughs> uh not... online store yes they, they have, have it <laughs> they have it yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure that that web page will look like 2008 web web page. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like weeks. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a weeks web page. But at least it's a premium week web page. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, if you don't see the logo, maybe it's premium. I can see the Bomba logo. No, I mean the Wix, the Wix logo. <laughs> I can see the Wix logo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, for... mm, Osman, what do you think we can add to our store to make it more interesting for the customers using technology? Right. So, guys, uh, so if the this um, can we use a uh, auto pay machine. An auto pay machine. Yes, yeah, when the people so can take everything they want to buy it and pay with the credit card in the auto pay machine. I think so. Yeah, that's a good idea. But maybe we can use a smart. Uh, cards that when you put uh, the clothes or whatever you are want to buy 
uh, they add to a purchased list. And when you are ready to pay, you just have to press a button and pass and pass your credit card. What do you think? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's really good. That's right. And, and so, you... in some stores, like you have to maybe like uh, get some ex uh, examples in each uh, way. For example, if you need to uh, change some uh, piece of your. Um, I don't know, of your bathroom, for example, maybe you can um, you can see and physically a piece of this kind of uh, uh, pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I'm on. <laughs> but, like, like, but like in a, like with a scamper. Ah, like yeah. a tutorial. Exactly. Yeah, but it would, it, it, they would be in the touch screen with the scope bar. Scan, Can be. Right? Yeah, it's a, it's a possibility. Yeah, like the, the, <laughs> yes, it would, it would be good. Another tip, dude. In my case, I can't, see, I can't figure anything else. Hmm. I think sounds is like a great because already B3 has a web page and this is very yeah. useful and we can um we can mix this kind of technology with our idea. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Maybe uh, the same the same like the the self serve kiosk but with the whole with the whole store every product on the store um inside of the of the of the 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 touch screen the the kiosk and you you go into the store get all the products you want and just maybe like the body scanner you see the body scanner that you put yourself in the in the body scanner and it scans you. But yes. instead of instead of scanning yourself, maybe you got you got you get everything from the store. You go you to take it in the carrito and you scan it through that scanner and automatically um, um gets all the total of the, the products you're getting. You you oh. you getting you getting my yeah. idea? That like would like be... to get like to get your your final account in advance. Yes, just go, just um walking through the the scanner and you when you end um when you end the walk, you automatically automatically receive the the amount and and just pay maybe with with your wallet or if you want uh, physically. With liquid money, you just pay it with the money. What do you think? I can, I can figure how the cashier knows that you have the same things in real because maybe you can install something. But <laughs> I think I think that I this idea, like to get your virtual wall uh, to take advance about the bill, the final billing, it's so great because. Sometimes the people it leave some things in the cashier because maybe they they never uh, figure how it's the final billing, and maybe they not have uh, the enough uh, money at the final. So this is a good idea, and maybe each one can be like an application, a mobile application to get uh, their own uh, virtual billing. And they just need to scan, scan, scan each thing. Yes, but in, the, in that way, uh, you need to go 
one by one, right? But it can be because uh, the scan can be in each way on the store. Or maybe instead of my scanner that that, that is with, with yourself going through, maybe the... Your new... new time. Your diet. Or style. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe don't being kind of uh -huh, style of new style that maybe your own it's like ah, that you yes. created you, uh -huh, you created yes i think I that no maybe are... combination with augmented uh, reality augmented reality uh and maybe uh i watching detail ah, yes detail. without printing because if you're printing, you will you won't uh, use uh and the materials that will you you won't use it because the materials are so with is is plastic I I think no when you're mm. printing in the 3D printing machine. So you said like um combining the 3D printing and the augmented reality. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, um, for example, uh, I want to see sewing the costura, sewing uh, mm -hmm. or the. I wish a uh, virtual assistant to help me to do the work. <laughs> also, this could be a good idea. Yes. Guys, how many tips do you have? Mm, like. Three, maybe. <laughs> it's okay. difficult. I know, I know. So you ready with the, at least three tips? Yes? Mm, to be honest, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will check another team. You have one more minute, and then we are going to go back to the main room. One more minute. In, in a specific place? Uh, and I like customer uh, um, ask the machine, uh, for example, uh, I, I, I don't I don't want uh, 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 <laughs> a bag. I don't want a uh, uh, martillo. I don't know who, who yes. is in English. In the, in, in, in the smart machine. Uh, say yeah. say say it's hammer. the tool the hammer. tool is in section two you can you can that's a good idea maybe there. maybe it would be a little robot the little yes. robot you you yes. say hi to the robot and the robot yes. asks what do you need what, yes what you... yes <laughs> and you ask yes. hey where can i find a hammer exactly. and the robot starts saying the hammer will be in the in the exactly. in the second hall Ah, okay. Right? Yes, this is my idea. That's a good. You have two ideas now, Osman. You don't buy it. Yeah, you're rocking it. <laughs> uh, how you're can we call it? it? Time stop. Let's go back to the main room. We're waiting for everybody. Time stop, guys. Let's go back. All right. We're going to wait for everybody to return to the main room. <laughs> and I can see a dog over there. It's a new member of the group. <laughs> yeah. He, he joined... already did the, the, the midterm. Ah, okay. And the final exam. <laughs> but it has a very low attendance score. <laughs> My gosh. Tell her that she has to repeat, okay? <laughs> All right, well, let's wait for your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. All right, all right. Okay, time's up, everybody. Time's up. Pretty good. Okay, everybody, how was the practice? Difficult. Uh, Difficult, okay. Uh -huh. And the rest of you guys, how was the practice? 
who was fun miss <laughs> okay <laughs> did you find a lot of tips or few of them a few okay David. oh my gosh okay did your classmates speak only in english right yes, yes uh, oh. like always excellent Okay, we are going to listen to the tips that your classmates prepared. We are going to be listening it in every single group. Remember, tell me the name of the store. Explain me what kind of product they sell. And then you can tell me the tips. Let's start with the team number one. Um, in the team number one, I had Jose Salvador, um, Oscar Alexis, Osman Enrique, Amanda, and Kevin Alfredo. Yes? Okay, pretty good. What is the name of the store that you chose? Salvador, tell us. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, Salvador, tell us. What is the name of the store? Vidria Store. Ah, nice. Okay. What kind of products can I find in that store, guys? Any tools? A lot of tools. Mm -hmm. What else? Things for, thing for your home, mm -hmm. for your car. Uh, uh, or, or also, you can, you can find a uh, Picture? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, which one? I, I don't know how, how I say pinturas. Paint. Paint. Or you, you can find a lot of paint, uh, kind of paint. Okay. Uh, and electric good. electric uh, tools. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, or also, also you, you can find in this play, in this store, furniture. Ah, okay. Uh, different kind of lamp. Okay, everything related to constructions, houses, yes. Yes. and things for your car too. Okay, so guys, tell me the tips. How can you help this store to give a better experience to your customers? Uh, uh, we... We speak with my team about uh, one tips. Uh -huh. uh, I want to try explain you, teacher. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have a problem with vocabulary, but you can, uh, you can I, 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 I hope you get my idea. Uh -huh. uh, Great idea, by the way. <laughs> I think, I think uh, when you get a, a, a bid uh, you, you, you if you if you if you sell it a kind of product you you can get and you can take and you if you want to know uh, how is the function you can take the product and uh, close to a smart tv and scan and scan the uh, cold, cold bar uh -huh. cold bar and smart tv show show you how is the function the product wow because because for example <laughs> teacher when i went to the the bd uh, I, I i like this product but i but i don't know how is the function i don't know and exactly and then i i i i, I didn't buy I and didn't of buy. course you cannot open the box you cannot watch the product hey i like that yes. idea sounds very interesting cool okay. okay all right i like it what else team another tip oscar go ahead with all okay. other <laughs> yes we was thinking about an intelligent uh, shopping cart mm -hmm. and the shopping cart every every time you you put something inside the 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 smart shopping cart it starts um uh, to scan to scan uh, they it's start to, to, to the accounting yes yes 
Ah, accounting okay. items and, and when you go to buy it uh, automatically automatically uh, give you the total you already know the total <laughs> that is very effective especially if you have a limit a uh, budget for that so a uh, shopping that's nice i like that idea interesting guys very good what else Also, uh, uh, we speak uh, about uh, will be fine if you if you can uh, you can find a a smart robot in this store. Uh, the big because I think many people. Uh, don't like uh, as uh, the employees. Uh, what is the product? What is the product? Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I think it's um, it's a good experience if you can ask a uh, uh, intelligent intelligent robot. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is the 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 the, the tool? Uh, it, it, the robot uh, uh, answer. Uh, I would like I would like to show you what is the 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 product. Your product is in the in section two, section <laughs> ten. Uh, come on! Yes. <laughs> I like that I idea. Know. I don't know. Especially because sometimes if you see, you need to find a product, and you cannot find anyone to help you. Yes. Sometimes yes. there are few employees, so they are busy, and you cannot ask them. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Interesting. Do you have any other tip, group? Only those ones? No, oh, that's all. All right. That's all Three very interesting tips. I like it. Very good. You should talk to B3 guys and sell them your ideas. I like it. Very good job. Thank you, team number Thanks. one. Now let's move on to the team number two. In the team number two, there was Andrea Edwin. Josman, Kevin Alexander, and Sifrido. So guys, what was the brick store that you picked? So we picked uh, La Bomba. Almacén La Bomba. Ah, okay. <laughs> I liked it. Uh -huh. So what kind of product can I find there? Uh, uh, we can find uh, clothes, uh, toys. I like some um, shoes. Yeah, Sorry. toes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Shoes, can we find some home deco? Uh huh. Yeah. Actually, I had a lot of time without going there, but I remember that at the beginning they had a lot of different kind of products. All yeah, right. Yeah. Like accessories. Too. Uh huh. That's true. Okay, tell me the tips. How can we improve that brick store? Okay, so we were talking about um, the tips and the first one we said was uh, they have to uh, they have to have like AC in their stores. <laughs> Definitely, totally agree. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they have to improve in your illumination. Or okay. yeah, it's that great to say illumination. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, uh, Kevin, if you want to say. Something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we suggest that they can they have no they need to have a auto check <clears throat> where you can um check what things you want to buy and you can just pay it with your credit card and ask to the manager or to the assistant to help you taking off the security checks and maybe a better a better and a an and a expensive option will be <laughs> Uh, had a smart uh, cards where you pick the product, you put it on the cart, and it will 
automatically uh, be added to the list of the of your shopping list but and you can continue uh, putting products or taking it out and when you finally want to pay or you want to leave you just press a button and and uh, you can you pass your credit card and uh, your products are yours <laughs> All right, that's an interesting one. I like it. <laughs> nice. I wish Super Selectos and all those supermarkets got that option. Yes, I right. that will be cool. <laughs> it will definitely. All yeah, right. Because sometimes we had to uh make the the queue just for one product. Exactly. And you have to wait from people that they are paying a lot. Like a lot. Of things. Yeah. That's true. That's a nice idea, Tim. I like it. What else? Another tip? Mm, that's the only <laughs> three that we have. <laughs> Those are the only ones? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. But sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Pretty good. I hope uh, that brick and mortar stores do it. At least <laughs> the easiest one. I think that AC is necessary. <laughs> yes. Good. Thank you, Tim. Very good job. All right. Now let's continue with the next team. In the next team, there was... Um, Carlos Ernesto, Carlos Mauricio, Eulise, and Pamela. Okay, guys, tell me about your store. Uh, I'm going to to present teacher. Ah, uh -huh, pretty good. Go ahead. So here we have we we pick this this store. I think we all know <laughs> this this kind of store, uh, Adoc, and Adoc sells uh, all type of shoes. Uh, so we have a uh, little tips to to use the technology to improve the the customer experience, and the first one is a fit tablet scanner. Um here it's like um a tablet where you can scan your feet and you have information about the um, the shoes that will be better for for your health or fits correctly to your kind of of feet um so this is the first tip nice just just a question do i need to take off the shoes that i'm wearing right now or i just with my shoes what do you think mm, no you have you have to take off your shoes and put uh -huh. like your feet in a, over the scan and you can you can know all the information about your feet nice that sounds interesting okay what else? What else you have? Okay. Talking about the team in the 3D printing machine uh, to create your own style of shoes. And I think in, 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 in this tip, because today there are many, many uh, types of shoes, for example, shoes the run, shoes the walk. I don't know, so I the shoes the yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I we know. never know. <laughs> yes, uh, 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 the combination with the 3D printing yeah. machine and the augmented reality, because uh, maybe you want uh, the detail in the sole or detail in the sewing. I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe. So can I take my own design and give it to you guys and say, I want these ones and you will create exactly the shoes that I have, the design? Yes, exactly. Yes. 
Nice. <laughs> that sounds very interesting. I imagine that it will be a little bit expensive, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will store your idea and then we will sell your idea. Oh my gosh. Okay. I like that one. All right. Interesting. Interesting. What else? What else do you uh, have? Um in all the stories, uh people can find a service services station. Uh mm -hmm. people check uh different Wrote, uh for more easy for them and um, the people um, can find uh, a lot of um, kinds about the, the shoes um, the color the size the price all information people can find in the self services nice that is going to help you to have a faster service i like it okay what else anything else how about that one virtual reality glasses what is that yes Maybe. teacher here it's like um well, you put on the virtual reality glasses and you can see uh, how your shoes um gonna look with different outfits and if it fits with the outfit that you are thinking of, you can change the color, the style of the shoes and see it like in like 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 you were seen in a mirror <laughs> ah that's good okay very good ideas guys nice job very good interesting tips for everybody you see guys i like the way that you are full of ideas i like when you use your imagination for this kind of activities pretty good job so in your opinion guys is it a good idea that brick and mortar stores add more technology to its stores? What do you think? Is it a good idea or no, nah, it's all right? What do you think? It's a great idea. Okay. And the rest of you guys? Do you agree with adding technology or not? Every idea was good. They were. Actually, they were like the best ideas I ever heard in this class. Believe me, I love it. And maybe it will be possible uh, in a little uh, days because of technology advancing. Yeah, I mean, the idea sounds pretty interesting. Not impossible. We know that the technology is moving so fast. So we never know, guys. Maybe in a couple of years, brick and mortar stores will be different. So let's go back to the presentation. Talking about, oops, this is the one. Okay, let's go back into the first questions that I asked at the beginning of the class. Do you consider, guys, that the brick and mortar stores versus M-commerce or e-commerce which one will win in the future? Do you think that e-commerce will, you know, <laughs> change the brick and mortar store? Will substitute this kind of retail stores or not? What do you think? I think that can be it, it can be possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now some some brick and mortars are um, a closed about the environment and also by technology. For example, in the pandemic time, mm -hmm. this was like this is was um, this was um, a impact 
in this kind of stores and the technology okay. become becomes uh a, becomes harder to to affordable and to get in was easier that's true that's true so it is interesting because yeah, e-commerce is taking a lot of advantages, but some of the brick and mortar stores, they are trying to implement or incorporate technology. Right now, we are going to have a reading practice. We are going to read an article about the influence of the e-commerce in the brick and mortar stores, okay? We are going to read a short article but please pay a lot of attention to it because later we are going to answer some questions. And if you don't pay attention to the article, you won't be able to answer the questions, okay? For this uh, reading practice, I will need some volunteers for reading. So who wants to start? Who wants to read the first paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay, from here until here, please. Go ahead. Uh, only on number one. Uh, from the beginning. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of businesses, it's the online only merchants that are struggling. Uh, number one. All but one, all but one of the top ten U.S. retailers are physical chains. Except for Amazon, the top ten U.S. retailers are all school brick and mortar retail stores, according to the top one hundred retailers list from Store Magazine, a National Retail Federation publication, in ranking order. They are Walmart Store, Kroger CEO, Costco, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowitz, and Albert Sons. Thank you. So this is very interesting. If you paid attention at the beginning of this article, which of these ones is having struggles? online stores or the brick and mortars online stores mm -hmm. so it looks kind of unbelievable right but according to this article those are the ones that are getting struggles all right and we have the top 10 of the most successful brick and mortar stores or the stores in general and look at this one. The ones that appears in the top 10, all of them are brick and mortar stores, except with only one. What is the only one a mm -hmm. online shop that appears in the top 10? Amazon. 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 So it's the only online shop that is in the top 10 of the US retailer stores. The rest of it, are brick and mortars. So that's pretty interesting, imagine. Now, um, I need another volunteer for reading the paragraph number two, please. I will do it. Yes, thank you. Stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conversion rates than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order as factor like shipping and handling charges and the cost associated with increased returns eat into margins. Thank you. So this is another very interesting fact. Which store is generating more money? E-commerce and brick and mortars? Brick and mortars. That's interesting, but why? What is that factor that is affecting the e-commerce to generate more profits? Because the e-commerce uh, uh, 
you have to pay for the product, mm -hmm. the shipping, and maybe the handling charges. Yes. So this is what is generating issues. Shipping and handling charges. And the problem is that some people, they are returning the product. All those processes is affecting the e-commerce. And in the brick and mortar stores, they don't have that issue, right? Interesting, pretty good. I need another volunteer, please, for reading the paragraph number three. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Online, online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge by inborn in the web retail retailers. Brick merchants are buying click merchants because online online only is not a viable retail model. That is interesting. What is the technique? that Walmart is using to you know, generate more money to be successful. Because remember that online only, it is not a guarantee. Brick and mortar store, it is no guarantee either. So Walmart, what is they doing? What do you think? What is the technique that they are using? buying boring the web retails yes so they are buying those stores in the website imagine that you created um an online shop walmart comes and see hey this is a very good uh, store i'm going to buy it that's what they do right that is the technique that walmart is using pretty good and I need the last volunteer, please, for reading the paragraph number two, uh, number four, I'm sorry. Will, Thank you, teacher. go ahead. Go, Hosma. Go ahead, Hosma. Okay. Okay. Millennium and, gener and Generation C, C prefer real life store. Millennials and Generation C, Chaos Gay and Me, the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online rather than watching television, for one, but growth actually preferring store to digital shopping. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, guys. <laughs> are you millennials or a Generation Z? I don't know. Centennials. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or, or what is it? The ones that is before generation uh, X? Baby boomers. Boomers. Oh, baby boomers, boomers or boomers. X? Okay. Uh, X. <laughs> well, I'm not sure, right? I, I don't know the names. But imagine in this case, the article is saying which generation prefers to buy in the brick and mortar stores? Generation C and millennials. Do you consider millennials? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think we are all millennials, but well, we don't know exactly the age of everyone. All right. Interesting, this article. I consider that this article, it's telling us another reality. We can easily see and we can easily say, nah, come on, online stores, they are taking a lot of advantages but not everywhere. Also remember brick and mortars, they are trying to implement new technologies. And remember that each of them has like positive and negative aspects, advantages and disadvantages. Is it clear, the paragraph? Is it clear, this article? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Ready for an exam? 50-50. <laughs> it's easy. Look at this one. This is a reading practice. As always, you need to write your full name. Full names, okay? And then easy, you just need to answer four questions. Easy. 
for questions about the reading practice. When you finish, click and send and automatically you will see how many correct answers you have. For this practice, you will have only five minutes, okay? Give me a second. I want to see how much you understood and if you paid attention or not. I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group. Open up the link and start completing the sentences. Well, the questions in this case, you just have to choose the correct answer. It is not necessary uh, to write. You just have to click in the correct one. Don't forget to write your full names. I already sent the link here uh, in the chat too. So go ahead, everybody, answer the questions. And I hope to have all of them perfectly correct. Go ahead. Imagine that this is an exam, so you need to get perfect score. Go ahead. I got a question, teacher. Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> Which page in the manual? Was uh, the <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> nah, come on. <laughs> I'm not going to. I will tell you when we finish the practice, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to remember what we just read. Go ahead, you can do it. Don't look at the manual, everybody, okay? If you paid attention, actually I was underlining the answers. Okay, I see four people already sent the answers and I can see very good scores. Very nice, perfect. Four people already sent the answers and the answers are correct. Nice. Mm -hmm. I can see that some of you paid attention to the reading, that's great. All right, I can see five people already finished. Perfect score, nice, very good job. Go ahead everybody, complete the practice. All right, so far I can see seven people already finished. All right, well, eight people already finished. 
Aha, I can see some people paid a lot of attention, but hmm, we need to be careful, everybody. Pretty good. Okay, so far so good. Most of you got the perfect scores. Some of you got some little mistakes. So everybody, remember, when we have a reading practice, it is important to try to understand what we are reading, all right? Sometimes just because it's the classmate, the ones that is reading, we don't pay a lot of attention. So we have to be careful with that, okay? Easy or difficult, the reading practice? What do you think? Easy, miss. Excellent, pretty good. So, the rest of you guys, easy or difficult? Reading practice? I think this topic was easy. Excellent, pretty good job. So, let's continue in this case. If you want to read the article again, this is in the page 38, <laughs> okay? Pretty good. <laughs> so, let's continue. Now, if you paid attention during this article, we find different words. For example, brick and mortar retail stores. According to the article and according to what we have been studying, what will be the correct definition for brick and mortar stores? <laughs> The first one. Can you read the it? The physical presence of a business in a building. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes. How about the number two? In the article, we heard about this one, margins. The what second one. Can you read it, please? Cost difference of acquiring products and the selling price. That's the one. Perfect. Then we have millennials. <laughs> what is the definition for it? The generation of the people born between the early uh, 1980s and 1990. <laughs> <laughs> Are you millennials? No. Yeah. <laughs> ah, who we'll say no? I'm not. Why I'm not? Be boomer. <laughs> I, I from 94 I mean when they say 90s including oh, from I... the 90s until the 99 oh, okay okay so you are welcome, 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 welcome to the millennial <laughs> team I think that we are the coolest generation yeah, yeah. Of course we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. Click merchant or merchant. What do you think? A merchant that exclusive offers digital products and services. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, definitely. Click merchant, remember, we are just talking about digital products, digital commerce, all right? Pretty good job. Now, talking about how there is some online or virtual shops are substituting the brick and mortar stores, there is a clear example for those kind of stores. Look at this one. We got Netflix versus the movie theater. Which of these ones is the brick and mortar? Movie the theater. Movie theater. The movie, movie theater. theater. Now, the virtual mm -hmm. is Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Do you think that Netflix is substituting <laughs> the movie theater? Yes. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Not at all, no. yet. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Netflix. Uh, both. <laughs> Depends. For premieres, Netflix. If, if you don't have time and you don't have money, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you, if you have time and you have a lot of money, go to the movie theater. Sure. I think you, you can go and pay for the, and for the, for go there, $5. 
and if you want to eat there, uh, fifteen dollars. So the total is twenty dollars just for two hours there. That's but true. Uh, beside Netflix, Netflix you buy you pay um six dollars and you can see anything in your house for one month. So <laughs> it, it, it is a difficult situation. Uh, because you in if, if you want to take a different experience uh, so mm -hmm. go to movie theater and see the movie in maybe 300 inches <laughs> that is it right it's yeah. bigger than than the just the tv but uh, if you wait you can see the same movie from movie theater and netflix later could be okay. or no other platform that's true. So when we are talking about this, this is a very clear example, guys, how e-commerce is trying to substitute the brick and mortar store. Now, both of them have advantages and disadvantages. As Carlos mentioned, one of the disadvantages from the uh, cinema is that it's more expensive, expensive. right? So another advantage or disadvantages, guys, for the cinema or Netflix? Disadvantage, you have to move. <laughs> <laughs> you have to move there, yes. The connection, and as possible. From Netflix. Mm. If you don't have internet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Amanda, what do you say? So if you don't have connection, you don't have Netflix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? An advantage of cinema theater is the experience. It's like the the connection with the people or you can make some difference. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. The sound. I mean. Yeah, the sound. It's, it's not the comedy. same. It's a, it's a comedy. It's a comedy. You are watching a comedy. The whole people laugh at the same time. So <laughs> no, but imagine if you are watching like science fiction movie or I don't know, those they has that very special sound effect. It is not the same to listen it to the cinema than to listen it in the speakers in your house, right? It is it's, not the same. What it's else? real in the cinema. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? Mm. Another advantage or disadvantage? Maybe disadvantages is, um, for example, in this case, a pandemic or the food, mm -hmm. the, the crowding, the, the entrance, the cinema. That's true. You can be safe at home. That's another good advantage. Yeah. Yes. Now, we are going to finish today's class with a listening practice. We already practiced some speaking, reading. Let's practice some listening. All right. Um, you are going to listen to some teenagers. All right. They are not from our generation <laughs> because they are teenagers. But you have to listen to their opinions. Listen and try to understand which one they prefer. If they prefer the movie theater or if they prefer streaming. But you have to tell me why. For example, let's start with Victor. Victor, you have to pay attention and try to understand what kind of movie they like and then which one he prefers. But try to pay attention and tell me why. Is it clear, the activity? Yes. Yes? Pretty good. To avoid interferences, you know what to do? Keep the microphones off, please. Let's start. Here we go. Yeah, a Saturday afternoon at the movie theater is really good with friends. If there's a new movie out, especially an action film or maybe a comedy, I'm nearly always up for it. I'd never turn it down. The best thing about watching a movie at the theater is the sound quality. It's amazing, especially a big action movie. It's like you're really there, you know? You can't get that kind of experience on YouTube, even though I do like that I can watch stuff wherever I want on my smartphone, you know? 
Just imagine if you could get theater quality sound from your cell phone. I'm a big Netflix fan. I probably watch three or four hours a day, usually at home in my room. I'm a bit addicted to it, to be honest. I can watch whenever I want, which is a big bonus. I couldn't imagine having to wait for a whole week for the next episode of my favourite TV shows, like my parents had to do with normal TV. I'm happy that's a thing of the past. I love the movie theatre too, but the best thing is probably that it's somewhere I can hang out with my friends. We can chat before the movie. We always argue about which movie to see. I usually want a horror, but nobody else ever does. Afterwards, we're always happy and talk about the best parts. By far, the best thing about streaming at home is that we don't all have to watch the same thing. If my dad is watching the football, I don't have to, which is a relief. We have like a family subscription or something, and I can watch one thing. I love watching musicals. My brother can watch cartoons, and my mom can watch a romance or something. You can't really do that at the movie theater. Can you imagine meeting up with your friends and then going into different rooms at the multiplex? That'd be so weird. I love the movie theater. I'm a really big fan. When you watch a sci-fi movie and there is some kind of battle, the special effects are fantastic. I usually end up moving around in my seat like I'm really there, in space. Or if there's a scary bit, I end up throwing my popcorn all over the place. You never get that at home, that feeling like you were in the movie. Especially if you're watching something on a small screen like a tablet or a laptop or something. What I do like about watching at home, though, is the choice. If you're at the theater, there might be like five movies at most you want to see, but there are hundreds to choose from at home, so you're never bored. Okay, do you have the answers or do you want to listen it to one more time? One more time. One more time? Please. <laughs> All right, no problem. Microphone's off, everybody. I'm going to play the audio again. Pay attention, please. Yeah, a Saturday afternoon at the movie theater is really good with friends. If there's a new movie out, especially an action film or maybe a comedy, I'm nearly always up for it. I'd never turn it down. The best thing about watching a movie at the theater is the sound quality. It's amazing, especially a big action movie. It's like you're really there, you know? You can't get that kind of experience on YouTube, even though I do like that I can watch stuff wherever I want on my smartphone, you know. Just imagine if you could get theater quality sound from your cell phone. I'm a big Netflix fan. I probably watch three or four hours a day, usually at home in my room. I'm a bit addicted to it, to be honest. I can watch whenever I want, which is a big bonus. I couldn't imagine having to wait for a whole week for the next episode of my favourite TV shows, like my parents had to do with normal TV. I'm happy that's a thing of the past. I love the movie theatre too, but the best thing is probably that it's somewhere I can hang out with my friends. We can chat before the movie. We always argue about which movie to see. I usually want a horror, but nobody else ever does. Afterwards, we're always happy and talk about the best parts. By far, the best thing about streaming at home is that we don't all have to watch the same thing. If my dad is watching the football, I don't have to, which is a relief. We have like a family subscription or something, and I can watch one thing. I love watching musicals. My brother can watch cartoons, and my mom can watch a romance or something. You can't really do that at the movie theater. Can you imagine meeting up with your friends and then going into different rooms at the multiplex? That'd be so weird. I love the movie theater. I'm a really big fan. When you watch a sci-fi movie and there is some kind of battle, the special effects are fantastic. I usually end up moving around in my seat like I'm really there, in space. Or if there's a scary bit, I end up throwing my popcorn all over the place. You never get that at home, that feeling like you were in the movie. Especially if you're watching something on a small screen, like a tablet or a laptop or something. What I do like about watching at home, though, is the choice. If you're at the theater, there might be like five movies at most you want to see, but there are hundreds to choose from at home, so you're never bored. All right, so let's verify the answers, everybody. Tell me about Victor. What kind of movie does he like? Action movies. 
Actions. Mm -hmm. Correct. And does he prefer the movie theater or the streaming? Movie the movie theater, theater, theater by the sound quality. Aha, uh -huh. very good. That's a good reason. How about the next uh, the next one, Jamal? What kind of movie does he like? Uh-huh. I I thought I I hear he likes series and mm -hmm. he prefers Netflix. All right. Yeah, actually, um, I didn't spe he didn't specify. I think that he mentioned horror, but yeah, he was talking about the series. And uh, does he prefer movie theater or streaming? Streaming. Streaming. Why? Streaming. Netflix. He can watch whatever he wants. Uh huh. And what else? There is he a love he loves to know what what uh, it's the next for example if uh, he likes the series he don't want to expect what is the proxim the, the next, next chapter exactly so basically he likes the time that he doesn't have to wait right so if he wants to watch the next uh, episode he just do it all right how about Gemma? streaming Okay, but what kind of uh, movies? She likes musicals. Musicals, yes. Okay, streaming or movie theater? Streaming because she can choose uh, different uh, musicals of different um, uh, series uh, about the family, their family. Okay, do you agree everyone? Well, basically, yeah, right? She said that they can see uh, different things like at the same time. For example, if you want to watch a series, you can do it. If your father wants to watch a soccer game, they can do it. So yeah, different things at the same time. The last one, Ella, what kind of movie does she like? Sci-fi sci movie. Very good. Do you like sci-fi movies? Of yes. course. Does she prefer movie theater or streaming? Movie theater. Why? Yeah. Because she loves uh, the sounds and the effects. Very good. The special effects. And that is something that we cannot get from Netflix, right? So this is a clear example, guys, about the differences between the experience that you get in the brick and mortar stores and also in the virtual shopping. So I want to end with the same question. Will shopping online will substitute the brick and mortar stores? Yes or no? No. <laughs> no, are you sure? No. Yes. <laughs> Pretty good, excellent. Okay guys, unfortunately we don't have more time. I just want to remind you that tomorrow is our last day and please everybody complete the platform. I have a couple of people that they haven't finished. Uh, so I don't want to say the names. I think that everybody knows exactly the ones who hasn't finished. So please work harder. Don't miss tomorrow's class. Remember that tomorrow we need to fill the survey from Insaforp. So everybody has to be here. Got it? Yes. Any questions before leaving everyone? No. No questions? Pretty good. Have a wonderful night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. See you. Bye.